Few minute tobacco reviews this time. Cornell and Deal's Haunted Bookshop. So to be perfectly honest, Burley has never really been my thing. I just don't like it. But I know a lot of people really love this blend and hearing people talking about how much they loved it. I decided to give it a shot. It's got Burley, Perique, and Virginia. Ten note. Honestly, this smells like really good hay. And there's not really much dimension to it except for that. And that's not a bad thing. Got it loaded up in this 1950s era Kamoi. Look at that blast. It's amazing. In doing research on Burley blends, I discovered there are basically two lines of these types of blends. Some are very woodsy in nature, and some are very earthy in nature. This one is definitely the latter. It is exceptionally earthy. But there's also a sweetness that really hits the front of the mouth, and a spiciness that hits the back of the throat. It's very straightforward, but there's a little bit of complexity to it that makes it very fascinating. And not being a burly person, I actually like it, which is very surprising to me. So who should try this blend? Well, people who like burly, obviously, but also if you don't necessarily like burly, I think it's worth giving a shot. You can buy it by the ounce through, you know, multiple e-tailers, and I think it's worth trying. But that's just me. What do you think?